Brothers and sisters, this is part two of The Child, the Hawk, and the Predator. Now, in part one, the child was had to go home, so he told the hawk he would be back the next day so that they could play and have some more tremor chongles. And the child did come back the next day and the day after that. And he came back every day for many, many times. And many, many chimichongos. But one evening, while the child was walking down the mountain to go home, he saw a man, and this gave the child a very bad feeling. And so he started going back up the hill, and the man started to shout at the child and told the child that he just wanted to be friends. This frightened the child even more, and so the child started running even faster up the mountain and then the child remember that a few nights ago on the TV news it was reported that there might be a predator in the area so the child was even more afraid and he started crying out for help for someone to help him as he was going up the mountain and when he got to the top of a mountain there was nowhere else to go the man was right behind him so the child just looked around and he didn't even see his friend the hawk and when the man got a few feet away from the child he told the child that the child was very naughty for running away from him and he also said do you know what happens to naughty children and the child started crying even more for help for someone to help him and the man started to laugh and he said, no one will help him. There's no one there except them two. And the man started walking towards the child. And then it happened. The hawk landed on the man's shoulder and dug his talons into it. And the man screamed all manner of profanity at the hawk. And the hawk ripped the man's tongue out. And the man screamed and stumbled backwards and fell down the mountain. And it was a long ways down. And the man hit the bottom with a mighty splat. And the child thanked his friend. His friendly but fierce friend. And they went down the mountain together. And they all lived happily ever after. The child, the hawk, and the chimichongos. And the moral of the story is... Don't bother. If, uh, if you're a predator, don't bother a child who has a hawk for a friend. In fact, don't bother any children. What's wrong with you? Knock that filthy crud off. Get help or something. Amen. Amen. Until next time, have a righteous day.